Hi everyone, it's Miss Champagne. Okay, I'm teaching from my book called How My Workbook called How to Transition from Your Current Job to Your Teaching Job. This is the corresponding workbook to my book that is simply called Transition from Your Current Job to Your Teaching Job. All right, let us begin. All right, so today we're talking about chapter three, which is where to locate teaching jobs. And remember, uh, this workbook and the book, um, I speak specifically about Ghana, Rwanda, and Japan, those three uh, countries, those three markets. Now, let's start with number one. So my warm up: where can you locate teaching jobs in your ch chosen country um, what are some of the website you can locate these jobs on and should you search for jobs online um, and just click on their individual job postings these are all great questions now if you want to locate jobs in Rwanda and Ghana um, I was able to research and I found some uh, some useful teaching jobs so in Rwanda there is a website called uh, job web Rwanda and this is also in the workbook job web Rwanda and you can find some teaching posts there now um, when I researched it I did not find as many teaching posts as I did when I researched for Ghana so for example when I researched Ghana it's also called job web Ghana and I found like a lot more teaching jobs there but in Rwanda de defense in Rwanda is a much smaller country than Ghana so obviously if it's a smaller country I'm just gonna assume they have less schools and less positions available you know um, and also it could have been my timing um, I'm not exactly sure when the Rwandan uh, when they when that market starts their jobs, I'm not exactly sure. So it could have been like after the fact. I was trying to find a job after all the jobs were not available. Um, we have the same thing in Japan. So if you try to apply for a position, say in the summertime, which is like uh, July or August, you may not be as successful as if if you apply in March, because most of the teaching jobs and jobs in general in Japan start in August and April. Start in April. Okay, now. When you're trying to find jobs in Ghana or Rwanda, another thing you have to consider is that are you wanting to be at a private school or do you want to be at a public school? Do you want to teach at an elementary school, a high school, a university, or a language school? Um, these are some things. Uh, I think if you say, I just want to be a teacher, that's just very general. I think you need to get a little bit more specific. Okay. And you need to think of the same thing when you're going to Ghana. Now in Japan, I find that it's easy, it's much easier to locate jobs in Japan. Um, I love Gaijin Pod. I've gotten a lot of jobs there. Um, they're really good. Um, and also the same thing with Japan. Um, there are more than there. Uh, most people are not English teachers. We have people who are classroom teachers. We have people who teach at university. So it's not just we're all English teachers. That's not true. We even have corporate trainers. And this is the same thing for Ghana and Rwanda. So just try to think more about what type of teacher you want to be, where you want to teach, and the country you want to teach in because it will help you to locate where you want to work and it'll help you locate the jobs you're looking for okay so today we talked about chapter three and chapter three is called where to locate teaching jobs if you have any questions please let me know and i'll see you again bye